Good morning. I just want to drop a line or two, just bring a message today. Um, regarding when things of importance start to matter. There comes a time when dressing up for church and going to church religiously two to six times a week it's just not enough anymore. It won't fulfill you. You will get in this mode of robotic um, because it's not real. It's a facade that people live, that we live ourselves. And um, so just, just know there's going to come a time if we're blessed enough to receive it, there's going to come a time when those things will no longer matter. There will come a time when your heart starts recognizing the important things in life. Um, let's see. Do you have an estranged child relationship? The parent and child relationship. Is it non-existent? Um, you will reach out to your child and depending on how important the matter is in reaching them just to let them know how much you love them you'll stop playing church you'll stop with all this fake life stuff it won't matter anymore having a healthy relationship with that child will mean more to you than how many times a week you go to church or what denomination is the only way. All those things are, are just earthly things. They're worldly things. They, they don't go with you. Matter of fact, they'll keep you from going to uh, eternity. So, I just wanted to share this. Stop playing church. Reach out to your child. Have a healthy relationship. It's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. Give them some space. Don't get stuck in the mindset of, well, I'm the mother and they're the child, so um, they're going to have to see things my way or there's just not going to be a relationship. Wrong. You are in the wrong place. Your heart is in the posture of pride. We have to stop settling for these mindsets of this old school, I call them 40 year Senate seating. Boy, God, I'm the child and, 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 stop it. Stop. Take that wall down. Go hug and love on your child. You don't have to both sit and talk about deep details of, at some point you will, you know, but you have to soften it up. You have to go by and see them. Take them a burger. You know, spend 10 minutes a week at first if you have to. Hug their neck. Move on. And that will slowly start tearing down those walls. Listen, that estranged child that you don't have a relationship with or that you that is very slim and, and you just, hey, at a distance, the child is waiting on you, the parent, to wrap them up in your kindness and your love. You know, that's why I fell in love with God so much when I found Him. Um, he was a father to me. God is a heavenly father that loves me, unconditional, who is gentle, who is encouraging, who is a soft whisper. Now, there are times when we get in our stubborn mode, in our flesh, and he has to raise his voice a little or say things maybe a little sharper, but that when he does it, he does it with such, such, like a gentleman that it, it stings the heart and we don't do it anymore. He is not a God sitting up in the sky with a whopper wanting to knock you down every time you breathe wrong. That is religion. 
that programs you to believe in a God like that. That is not the God I serve. I serve a Heavenly Father that has wrapped me up. I was an orphan. I was estranged from having a father-daughter relationship. I had one before religion, but religion came in and it, it, it tore it up. So I became estranged out there in a lonely world. Just reaching and grasping for things just to satisfy the moment. Look, I found my Heavenly Father. And, and He loves me unconditionally. It is His voice that says, Go hug your daughter's neck. Go kiss her on her cheek. Pull her hair strands back from her crying eyes. If need be. And I learned in doing this with her, um, her and I butted heads for years because we're so much alike. I learned by doing this, she's teaching me. She teaches me. And yeah, I get all frustrated sometimes if she don't make the right decision or she's having a hard time. And I'm like, just do it this way and it'll be all. That's just mama mode. That's just, you know, I had her young, so... Um, I'm learning too, but I do know that I could not have a relationship with my daughter without my Heavenly Father. He's teaching me. When I prayed years ago, Lord, teach me how to be a mama to her. Teach me how to be a good mama to my children. He's doing it. He's doing it. And it's just so amazing. So, hey, drop the, the those church outfits and hairstyles and hymns and and denominations. That, that That's all just, that's going to be no more that's earthly stuff worldly stuff go hug a kid's neck go hug your child and tell them you love them it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay to say hey you know what i don't know how to be a parent to you but i am so willing to learn because i love you okay i just that that message is for somebody today i i don't know who but i just hope that you, if it is for you and you hear it that it just kind of gives you some hope with your child that you may be estranged with, the, the relationship. Y'all have a great day. Peace.